Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this particular video I will show you how you can use the SQL command builder dot drive parameters method to get the parameters of a store procedure. Okay, so let's start with this. The first thing I'm going to do is create a connection string and I'm using my local host. So I'm just going to say a local host. The database I'm using is not win database. Uh, this is different from the database that you have, which is NotWin. Uh, this is my custom NotWin database, so it might not have those table and values that you already have. Okay, let me actually see if Camtasia is still running. It's kind of, uh, sometimes it like flukes out. Using, okay. Connection equal to new SQL connection. And I'm just going to pass in the connection string. Okay var command equal to new SQL command and uh, store procedure name is insert customer which we are going to see in a moment and I can say okay pass in the connection now I'm going to open the connection over here open connection and uh, it's going to say command dot command type equal to command type dot store procedure okay and at this particular point, what I'm going to do is uh, say SQL command builder dot drive parameters, and I'm going to say command. So I'm just going, just going to pass the command to it, which is going to get the parameters. Now let's go ahead and check out the store procedure. This is my store procedure. It's called insert customer. As you can see, just take the first name and last name, and insert the values into the customer database and return the value, which is called identity. Pretty, pretty simple insert basic stuff. Okay, so at this particular point, after the drive parameters command is executed, my uh, parameters are actually filled with the input uh, kind of input value. Well, not really value, but the name, input names. So at this point I can say, okay, zero dot value, and I can assign some name over here, let's say Jerry. Okay, and I can say command or parameters of zero dot value equal to uh, Seinfeld, whatever the spelling is for Seinfeld. All right. Now there's uh, and and finally I can say execute non query. Now there's a problem with this query or uh, with this assigning of the parameters is that zero when you're using drive parameters and it populates this with the names zero is actually reserved for the return value. So this means I'm returning a value over here, which is scope identity, which will actually return the uh, next identity column uh, generated in teaser field, which in this case will be next will be seven. Um, so it was reserved for that particular case. Okay, so our parameters, our custom parameters will start from one. Number two will be the last name. One will be the first name. And you can see that if I do a console dot right line at the end I can say command dot parameters of zero dot value so it's going to print me the identity or the return value which is actually executed let's go ahead and run this and you will see that seven is actually return now keep in mind when when you use drive parameters it is going to make a request to the database and it is going to get this kind of like a schema for the store procedure. So let's go over here and kind of refresh this database uh, table and you will see that the Jerry Seinfeld is actually inserted and the ID return seven was of course the correct ID. So that's pretty much it. So you can use the drive parameters if you want to uh, investigate, if you want to get the parameter names and automatically populate the parameter names to the command object so you can use drive parameters. I hope you like this video. If you have uh, any questions, you can email me at azamsharp at gmail.com. If you are interested in sponsoring any of the future videos, then also you can email me at azamsharp at gmail.com. Hope you like this video and thank you very much.